Hello, it's Pilot Air 88 here again with Volume 2 of Cool Shit on Netflix. Uh, on this one, I'm going to talk about my favorite shows on Netflix. I had to do a top 15. There's no way I could just pick five. It would be ludicrous because I'll leave out some really awesome shows that you need to check out. Also, I hope you have pen and paper because I'm not typing all these in the description. I, I'm too lazy for that. I cannot be asked to do that. I'm, I'm not anyway, uh... I guess I better get started since there's fucking 15 of them. The first one, no surprise, pretty much everyone on the planet loves this fucking show, and that's Pawn Stars. And I could never say before Pawn Stars that I'd give a shit about something signed by Benjamin Franklin. Other than the Declaration of Independence. But yeah, Pawn Stars, really addictive. Uh, they have the first three seasons for the instant stream now. I'm really excited about that, so if you didn't know, now you do. Number two, probably my favorite drama show of all time, and that's Rescue Me. They have the first five seasons, and season five's in two parts. So it's kind of like having six seasons, but don't call it season six, because then you'll get people excited and they'll get pissed off. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Rescue Me, great, great show. Uh, number three, Man vs. Food. Of course. I mean, watch it when you're hungry. Don't, don't eat something and then watch Man vs. Food because you'll just be like, oh, that's fucking sick. Ah, ah. Alright, uh, number four, Deadliest Warrior. Obvi. Seasons one and two. Really cool shit. Number five, Thousand Ways to Die. Another good one. Those two Spike shows. I mean, they're dumb and probably not that accurate, but, you know, it's whatever. It's entertaining. Uh, number six, The Hard Times of R.J. Berger. They only have one season of this, but I really dug it. It's got that old Teen Nick charm to it, but it's an MTV show, so they can get away with swearing. So I really dug it. It's about this nerdy kid who uh, is at a basketball game one day, and he gets pants, and everyone finds out that he has a big dick. So it's about his life coping with being a nerd and everyone knowing he got a big dick. Big old dick. But yeah. Hard Times of RJ Burger. Really good show. Uh, the next one is Gangland. Pretty cool shit. Always liked Gangland. Always oh, That was my favorite show on the History Channel until Pawn Stars came along. So yeah, Gangland. Uh, next, uh, Morgan Spurlock's 30 Days. Really cool. Uh, they have some really interesting episodes. Uh, my favorite one's probably where they got the country Midwest guy to live in... Uh, that one neighborhood in San Francisco that's notorious for being gay. That was a really good episode. Uh, the border episode where they had a really conservative guy live with a, a migrant family. So yeah, 30 days. The next one is uh, Rocco's Modern Life. This is probably only for you if you're a child of the 90s like yours truly. Rocco's Modern Life. Probably one of my favorite cartoons of all time. The next one is also probably if you grew up in the 90s, and that's Third Rock from the Sun. I don't know how many seasons they have of it yet, but I love that show. Uh, just Gordon the Bed, French Stewart, uh, John Lithgow. Good stuff. Third Rock from the Sun. I used to have the first two seasons of it. I got it for Christmas for my sister, but I don't know where they went. Next is Sons of Anarchy. Probably... Another one of my favorite uh, TV dramas with Ron Perlman about the biker game, The Sons of Anarchy. They have the first two seasons on uh, Netflix. Really good show. Uh, Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, all seven seasons. I believe they also have both movies. If you don't know anything about Trailer Park Boys, you need to check it out now. That shit's hilarious. Trailer Park Boys. Uh, up next is a British comedy called The IT Crowd. It's really funny. It's uh, it stars uh, one of the sh uh, the shaman from uh, the Mighty Boosh, uh, Sabu, the black guy. But uh, in this show, it's him and his best friend. They're really nerdy IT guys in this. Uh, I can't really describe it. It's really funny, though. The IT Crowd. Check that one out. Uh, next is another British comedy called Saxondale, and it's much more subtle. Uh, it's very, it's more about just 
watching this really crazy character. It's about uh, this guy named Saxondale who uh, used to roadie for a bunch of heavy metal bands back in the day, and then he became a bug exterminator. And it's him taking on Apprentice and them just going day-to-day life. I guess it's kind of a comedy drama, but it's really funny. I dig it. And last but not least, uh, Flavor of Love is now on Netflix. Ah! That's all I've been doing this weekend. I haven't done anything except watch Flavor of Love. Sorry. That, that, if you're expecting me to do something productive this weekend, sorry. Flavor of Love. All I need to say. They also have Rock of Love, the Brett Michael show, which I really wish that brain tumor had killed him. That's terrible to say, but uh, Rock of Love, in all good conscience, I can only watch season one because I am still upset that he didn't stick with Jess because that is the most wonderful girl I have ever seen. All right, so that's uh, Cool Shit on Netflix Volume 2, B-Money's Top 15 TV Shows. Take it easy.